What is going on my broskies, my name is Toadski, back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Dr. Vegapunk has officially debuted here in One Piece Treasure Cruise, and look, you should definitely be saving your Rainbow Gems. We are so, so close to the 10th anniversary of Treasure Cruise. You really shouldn't be spending your Rainbow Gems willy-nilly. You know, we're so close to the biggest event of the year. It's going to be a crazy banner. Definitely should save for that. Saying that though, I am going to be doing a couple of multis here on the Countdown Pirate Alliance Kazuna Clash Sugar Fest Part 1. Crazy, uh, crazy long title for the Sugar Fest, but you know, we're going to try and see if we can get this Vegapunk. He seems like a pretty fun character in all honesty. In terms of the characters that are actually boosted on Part 1, like, I don't actually need any of these units, but we do see Otama with a Kazuna Legend. She's boosted, would love to get her, don't have her yet. Uh, on Part 2, um, we do have access to Jewelry Bonnie, which I don't actually have yet, the Egghead Bonnie. So, I would love to pull that unit, but we're not going to be pulling on part 2 because, you know, Otama is more of a restricted unit. You know, you don't get many chances to pull that unit. Whereas, Jewelry Bonnie is basically a, a normal legend available on many, many legend tickets moving forward throughout the year. And, you know, who knows, we'll probably end up pulling Bonnie on the Anniversary Sugo Fest eventually. But, we're going to do a, a couple multis here on the Kizuna Sugo Fest. Hopefully, walk away with... Uh, Vegapunk himself, uh, Shaka is here as a Kazuna Rare Recruit, would be dope if we could pull him as well, um, but yeah, not really much else to say, I think, I think that Dr. Vegapunk is actually a really interesting unit, um, he, he kind of has some interesting special mechanics going on, he's just a really cool unit, works pretty well in Pirate Rumble, but, you know, it kind of feels weird, because if I end up pulling this unit, I kind of would love to get Atlas as well, because the synergy between Lilith, Atlas, Vegapunk, and whatever else comes out in the near future, I think has the potential to be a really, really good team. But uh, I guess without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and jump into it and see if we can get a little bit of luck here. Let's go ahead and do it. Starting off, it's 10% chance to get a red shield. So we're hoping for at least one red poster every multi. At least one. That is our hope here. Here we go. Sugo Fest exclusive or a red boosted character on the first step. Starting off terribly, dude. This is awful. <sighs> Man, okay. That is not how I wanted to start things off. Um, so yeah, we're not, we're probably not getting a raid here, um, but it would be cool if we could potentially pull Shaka. Uh, I don't know exactly which Kizuna rare recruits that I am still missing. I think there's a couple of normal batch rare recruits that I don't have yet. Uh, I think like, um, Katarina Devon that came out during the global anniversary is actually one character that I don't have. So I would kind of take that if we could somehow land that unit. I don't think that unit is rate boosted, but I think the unit is on the banner nonetheless. But unfortunately, not starting off very strong at all. Um, you know, 10% chance to get a red, so we're hoping for at least one per multi, and judging by the animations that we just saw, we are not getting a red in this multi pool at all. So, it doesn't really matter though. We, you know, you could do the worst pulls possible, but one multi can change everything. And we get in Shaka to start us off. You know what? It ended up being not too bad after all. Okay, so, was not expecting anything. Like, I wasn't even expecting this guy to even show up, to be honest, but... Wow, okay. Pulling Shaka is fantastic. We will take that. Uh, what does he exactly do again? I know that he's a, like a debuffer unit. He delays, removes poison, removes despair. If you have color affinity boost, he buffs it. But then he says he also gives a color affinity to Cerebral two times for two turns. And then buffs it, damage reduction. He, he seems okay, like not a, not a good unit overall. I don't think he's going to see much play. But the fact that he has the synergy with the Vegapunks and his name as a unit is the reason why he would actually see play. Not a bad way to start us off, considering the animations weren't great. Uh, second multi, unfortunately, is another pretty trash step, a legend or a rate boosted character. We're just hoping to hit at least one red poster. Give us a chance to pull this unit. Um, so 10% chance. Hopefully, hopefully maybe we can come back a little bit, maybe get two reds this multi to, to get us back on the average. Let's see what we got. <sighs> Bro, why? <laughs> why, dude? Oh, this worse animations, dude. Oh my god. All right. Well, well. Yeah, this is kind of the reason why you don't do pulls on these banners that are coming up like right before anniversary because a lot of the time they're just kind of not worth it, especially because you know you're spending these gems to do these pulls on banners like this, and you're not even getting an opportunity to potentially get Super Sugo Fest exclusives, which of course have the powerful potential abilities, Final Tap, um, you know, Rush and Super Tandem. To level those up is pretty valuable because Super Sugos don't come out every every day, so. You know, pulling on banners such as this probably isn't the greatest idea. Not really expecting much here, considering we just got Shark, a last multi, and Sunny Kun, which is always nice to see Sunny Kun. But unfortunately, we have 
Sunny could maxed out, so we don't need that at all. Well, all things considered, we are guaranteed to get a red on this multi, so <laughs> maybe everything will be forgiven if we end up getting Vegapunk here. Uh, considering what we've done so far, really hoping that we can at least get, you know, one additional red in the middle would be nice because this has been pretty trash so far in terms of the red rate. Really happy we got Shaka though. Here we go, guaranteed legend, so we're at least getting one. Let's see what kind of animations we get today. Do we get the kitty cat? We do. No red hockey, no gold. Okay, one cut in, two cut in, three cut in. All right, that's pretty spicy. Three, four, five, six, nice. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we're getting one additional red, potentially a seeker red, but that's cool. I think it was number six is the red. Two opportunities to get Dr. Vegapunk himself. Let's see what we get here. Getting that carrot. And we've got Trafalgar Law, but yeah, Vegapunk looks like a really interesting unit. Would, would love to get my hands on him just to trial him out and see how he kind of goes. Um, and obviously good synergies with Lilith and Atlas and whatever comes out in the future, because I feel like whatever comes out for Anniversary may have some synergy with him. Uh, here's our red poster. Let's see what it is. Not extended. Oh, Corazon. Uh, shout out to Corazon, you know, one of the best supports in the game. Great 6+, plus, good unit overall. Not what we're looking for, though, but always nice to see. My man, Mr. Slam Jam Katakuri, coming to say hello. Always love to see him. Okay. We've got Gotti. Number nine is a Frankie. Last unit is going to be an Usopp. Here's our guaranteed red poster pull. Can it be Dr. Vegapunk? Let's see it. Let's see it. Not extended. Well, I like seeing my boy, Mr. Slam Jam, but, uh... <laughs> You guys can chill. We don't need you guys, man. That's kind of crazy. Okay. So, we didn't really, uh, we didn't get really the best quality characters overall. I mean, kind of, it's kind of good that we got the Shaka. It's just such a shame, you know, we have to do an additional four multis to get a guaranteed legend step. These, these steps are just absolutely awful, dude. Uh, I think I'll just, I'll, I'm just gonna keep going until we get one more red. Just one more red, and, and that's gonna ice it, honestly. It looks like we're gonna get a red here, which is good to see. Okay, so no, no red hockey or anything, but at least we will get a red here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, good. Nine, ten. Number eight. I don't know. This doesn't, this doesn't feel good. The animations don't, don't really get me too hyped up. They don't get me too amped, but, you know, I have pulled pretty good stuff before from terrible animations. You know, animations are only an indicator. Yes, they, there are some animations that guarantee you certain things, but unless if they are those guaranteed animations, like Gear 5, for example, as long if it's not that, you know, it, it's fair game. You can literally get anything. It is, it's totally down to RNG. They're only an indicator of what you may get in the multi. So, saying all of this, what did this indicate that we were going to get? Not extended. <sighs> Bro. <laughs> what? What? Okay, that's a little ridiculous, to be honest. Oh, oh my god. Dude, what? Oh, that's so triggering, dude. That is so triggering. Alright, we're gonna do a sneaky one. We're gonna do a sneaky one right here. Okay, this is good. Man, the hockey animations haven't been too strong. No cut-in either. Surely, right? There was a cat and a train. There was a cat and a train. There has to be a red in here, right? There has to be. Where is it? Come on. Must be a secret red? Maybe it could be the 11th poster? I've never seen cat in a train with no red. It has to be, right? This has to be. Wow. Dude, what, what did I just witness? Those animations were not terrible. And for that to happen? Bro, I've never seen that. Alright, come on. We, we, we're going to finish on one more. We've got to finish on one more. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is exactly why. I, that was, I was being too greedy, man. I was being too greedy. That was. This is just a terrible decision. This is such a terrible decision. Alright, we're going to skip through this one. Well, double Bastille back to back. That's when you know you're pulling hotness right there. Uh, yeah, this is this is just terrible at this point. Oh, we pulled the Crocodile. The One Piece card game Crocodile. Completely forgot that those characters were here. Those are always cool to see. Big fan of those units. Um, but, I mean, we're at a point now, we're doing one more, and that is going to finish it up as we finish up on this step right here. Let's see. You know what we might do? Let's see if we give it a, a good old crank. You know, tap the tavern a few times. Give us a bit more luck. 
I think that that might have charged it up enough to get Dr. Vegapunk to show up. Let's see. No kitty cat. Haki animation's not looking too solid today. Two cut-ins. The Gear 5 animation's always good to see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, not too many red posters, man. Considering it was 10% chance to get a red, we have been kind of shafted in regards to the amount of reds that we've gotten. But... You know, maybe it's going to be one of these things where it's going to be the quality over quantity. If that's the case, I'll be all good with that. But these rare recruits aren't looking too solid right now. It all comes down to this. This is going to end the video right here. What's it going to be? Oh, Black Maria. Oh, that is disgusting. All right. Well, yeah, we're done. Yeah, th this was this was this is just really really bad. Um, anyways, this is partly the reason, uh, why you do not pull on these types of banners right before anniversary, because you, you just, you know, you do all those, all those pulls and you don't really get much to show for it. So that is going to wrap it up for me. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video and you do not decide to do pulls on this banner. Hopefully you enjoyed the video though. If you did, make sure you go ahead, leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And that guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.